On this video, we'll be tackling with, uh, uh, let's say, the philosophical and the, let's say, theoretical side of, of the bioinformatics. As every area of science that has its own, uh, its own right, that has its own existence, we should have, uh, it's a, uh, it's, uh, let's say, how would I explain, it's, um, it's a premise, it's a, uh, it's a background, it's a cornerstone of the area of scientific investigation to have its, its ide ideology, ideas and the guidance that uh, guides scientists in general through the pathway of uh, creating. So on this, on this set of slides, we are going to discuss shortly, which uh, is a little bit complicated but uh, as any error, it cannot be too much complicated, or if it's too much complicated, it means that it's not yet uh, in, its, in its final state. So, of course, about that has a lot yet to, to be done, a lot of questions be settled. So, uh, let's say, the, um, some, however, some ideas and some paradigm and some philosophy they are already, let's say, accepted in a, in a unanimous consent. So it's a, it's a very big question. I mean, what's bioinformatics? And the, if someone understands what's a bioinformatics, it's a good idea to be a mathematician. So uh, let's say, from, let's say, after I start to, to, to work on this project, I have as well learned a lot. Um, I mean, I believe, I want to say, I believe, uh, let's say, how people, they, they, they see about medical literature, and it's some, sometimes it's like even a, it's a kind of funny the way people in general see it. If you try to type by, by mathematics, for such as new in the YouTube, which is the, the platform in which this, this, this video are going to be published, you can find a lot. And uh, some of them, in my opinion, they are even uh, somehow, uh, let's say, I could not even understand why people use the name Bible of Matt in the video. Indeed, the technique they, they teach can be used in Bible of Matt, it's true. But uh, so people are saying that Bible of Matt is, is created by the technique, it's not true. Uh, the biomathematics has to be supported by the by the technique as I was discussing and the I plan to come back with this discussion in the in the next slides. Let's say I, I plan to present this it is what it's a draft for a paper that unfortunately we were not able to finish yet. And before the paper I discussed the same the same research about uh, the future of uh, of system biology, which is like the, um, the bioinformatics itself. And the uh, bioinformatics itself is much more than system biology because system biology is new, so it didn't have time yet to be to be so messed up or it still or not be messed up because people have been more careful. But bioinformatics has been a lot messed up. Many, uh, as I said before, if you make a search on YouTube channel, you find a lot of materials. If you uh, have any of the name of bioinformatics, some of them has technique that uh, can be applied to bioinformatics and uh, based on that people decide to uh, to call it bioinformatics. So it is it, it is indeed um, say a challenge. It is indeed a, um, a kind of uh, problematic because people are confusing bioinformatics with a set of techniques but not bioinformatics it's also philosophy it taught it's also a paradigm just right now I'm I'm working a paper that uh, I was working in this paper for this channel, but however I decided to do a full publication on that, so that's why so I'm not going to post it on this project right now. Uh, the paper is about the uh, concept that the Balfet should handle and it has not been handled mainly because I think there's people not make the proper interpretation of the area. So the challenge is the there is a concept called unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics. What is unreasonable effectiveness of, of uh, mathematics? 
it is the side of mathematics that you cannot explain, such as how the theory of Newton could be so precise, even nowadays, after more than almost almost 200 years later, the death of uh, of Newton, uh, we uh, we still make use of his theory so precisely in the why the theory of, of Einstein, quantum mechanics, even so mathematical, so abstract, they are so powerful. So that's called unreasonable, unreasonable, unreasonable effectiveness. Because unreasonable means that you cannot, um, cannot explain. So this kind of pro problem already exists for the artificial intelligence. When you use artificial neural network, they call it black box model because artificial neural network can be used a lot. It's very powerful. But we don't know, we cannot explain precisely uh, how exactly uh, artificial neural networks, so the brain, or consciousness, all this kind of uh, imaging property that happens in biological systemic work, so it's called unreasonable. For biologists accepted, however, for mathematics is a little bit of a trick because mathematics is based on the, on the, on the supreme, on the ultimate, on the ultimate capacity to understand, and this, there is an unreasonable effectiveness of the mathematics, so, so there is a, a side of mathematics that cannot be explained. However, I believe that every, every area of science is a problem. Biology cannot explain what is life. Physics cannot, cannot, cannot explain the existence of God, that is what uh, has been haunting a considerable amount of, 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 of physicists. So let's go into the text. So it can be said that mathematics, all the mathematics itself, in the sense it, it was created uh, uh, completely by myself. I, so of course I believe people uh, are going to, to criticize and be made so good because science is based on criticism. But uh, am I, am I uh, now right now, as I said before, I'm preparing a paper for publication. And the, in the sense it starts to be very convincing to me because the concept of mathematics itself is very pure, and it starts with the, with the work of the Greek and so on. But the, the concept of understanding reality and to apply to the body here, it has been around, it seems to be much before the mathematics itself was applied. So, I believe that even before the human could count, they already knew such some techniques such as they could the try to understand how the blood fly and so on. Even they could not express it precisely in numbers, they already knew some kind of technique. If you take mathematics, mathematics serious, it is just a application of, of quantitative reasoning to biology or to human or human science, which doesn't necessarily mean the error in the way you see it today. The, the uh, one example I, 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 I like is the, uh, is the example in which uh, some in, uh, some Indians such as from Brazil they they are known to use some colors in the face colors in the skin and some of the black and the red black and the red are the colors that it means danger so you apply logic to to to, to defend yourself against against the predators and the against attacks of the wild animals. So for me it is a, a, a let's say a very incipient, a very early example of biomath. And the, for me it is the the difference in the, the is on the degree of complexity in which it is applied. I believe, uh, I believe it in general, it's not just by bio such as uh, recently I was trying to, not recently, I mean, let's say two years ago, I was studying computational intelligence, and then I, I have noticed that uh, there is no precise date of the, of the beginning of computational intelligence. And biomath faces a similar way, there is no, cannot say for certain. One example is the, is, is the number of Fibonacci, which represents the the growing of the of the, the growing of the, of the, of rabbit, and these are very simple examples of mathematics. But I believe that even if that time Fibonacci, which was Leonardo da, da, da Pisa, was able to think about it, I believe that he, uh, around someone was already thinking about it. So. I don't mean that he, he took that out of out of the blue, 
somehow someone uh, mentioned to him or so on. As uh, as I thought, uh, as I some books now, if you start to even to 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 understand that the uh, above that something could have been uh, before the. One example is right now. I'm, I'm as I said before, I prepared for a paper, and I'm reading. I was I'm just reading a book, and the guy was calculating the. It was a informal calculation, uh, the amount of food of meat or grass, for example, that he should exist to feed animal in the in the in the chain of in the eating in the in the food chain. So his calculation was setting more or less that the, for uh, carnivores, which include ourselves and the lions and so on, you should have more or less 10 times more mass uh, below it in order to, 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 uh, to make it survive. It means that the, uh, if these lions suppose eat just zebra, you need the 10 times more mass of zebra to feed just one lion. And the, as you know, the, the, the food chain is a, is a pyramid. It's a hierarchical tree, so it increases upwards. So it shows the complexity in which our system works in order to, to be kept alive. So that shows one example of the application of simple techniques of mathematics in order to understand, the, to understand how living systems work. So biomedical can be applied in any area that um, that you we uh, that we have the concept of the of living system. Uh, again, coming back to this book um, that I'm reading right now, I'm planning to prepare some slides about this book. I think, I think the book is very interesting for for biomathematics. For such as if you talk about biomathematics, you you certainly are taking the grant that you know what is bio, what's life. In this book, as I explained, it's not very easy to differentiate between life and not life. That's one, one, one of the reasons that I believe in the, in the future, which we are not quite sure if it's close or far away, this term biomethmet could disappear because people that take as granted that the mathematics or mathematics or, uh, also include biology. Yes, today, mathematics is all, almost a synonymous of physics. You cannot, it's almost impossible to talk about mathematics or necessarily talking about, about in physics. <coughs> However, it was not always way. This, the way. What they call the mathematical, mathematical physics was mainly, mainly developed in the last century. So it showed that it was a uh, as Banff met, it was a demand, it was a change that was done by by renowned scientists, people that fought for having a new a new a new physics that would be more close to mathematics. Or mathematics that would be more close to physics. There's not a sentence that I, I I heard once and don't remember where and you and who said that, but yes, I said that, that the physics is too important to be left just in the hand of the physicist. So um, you can see that the same biology is too important to be left in the hand just on the of the on the on, just on the hand of the biologist. So uh, we uh, we all engineering mathematician, anyone that has is a computer scientist and so on, we must fight to have our place among the 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 match the Biomedical researchers. So, uh, however, you can easily identify uh, when the uh, embryo that you see nowadays was developed. It was mainly in the last century. The last century have a huge amount of de development for biomedical. One example I like to cite, but unfortunately I lost the book. I had the book, but uh, it was about the life of Einstein. It was an amazing book. I found the book by accident. In a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a store, of, in an old bookstore, and the, I could not find the books out of the print, but in the book, the guy that wrote the book, he knew Einstein, where the book was published, I think it was 1960, so the guy, by calculation, he said that he knew Einstein, somehow they, that his, his search, search of his reference 
was of the first hand. In the book was amazing. There was one part in which the book mentioned that Einstein had a contact with biology. And the, he somehow he refused to go on with biology because the area was very yeah, difficult at the time. Indeed, it was very difficult. The, in the in the turning of the of the uh, yeah, f from the 19th to 20th to the 20th century, biomathematics served a huge uh, it's a huge change, a huge uh, game in, in in which we see today. So it was born from some change that started before. Surprisingly, the name biology itself was discovered, was developed in the 19th century. So you can see that it was important to have the name, the, the name, the name biomathematics. If biology has not even existed before, so uh, you can say that biomathematics itself it was developed uh, indirectly even before biology as well. So it was a kind of, uh, even a kind of, uh, I would say it's fun because when I saw it for the first time, I uh, I was a little bit surprised. Such as Schrader, which is a big guy from quantum mechanics, he had some had some influence from Einstein. He developed an equation very important in quantum mechanics, and uh, Schrader wrote a very important book that uh, I I read once. I didn't, I, I, didn't see it, I didn't see it at first hand, but I read that this book of Shurenda, which is called The War of Life, he wrote before, after the, the, the death of his, of his dad. In his book, in this short book, it's a very short book, he makes some prediction for, for, bio, for physics, that physics would be unable to solve some problem. One of them was the folding of protein that nowadays it's a very important and powerful problem in the, in the biophysics which as I explained before here I'm calling biophysics as biomathematics so uh, you can see that the, from the, in the view of this of this project when you talk about biomathematics you also should include biophysics and biomechanics and so on so uh, he showed his fascination by biology in his book and as well make a very important pr prediction of challenge that would, was, was up to come. So surprisingly, if you see in the history of, of biomathematics, it was not completely uncommon to have uh, some kind of mathematician physicist get involved with medicine. It was just missing the recognition. One example, Galileo had several, uh, several contacts uh, earlier Leonard Euler, which is the very famous mathematician, he is considered as one of the, the one of the most productive mathematicians. He, he, he has a very nice story. He got he, he, he got he, he, he went blind when he was uh, very young. I believe it was in when he was arrived to his to his thirties, to his thirty years old, twenty nine. I don't remember quite all the number. And the, luckily, he, let's say, luckily more or less, he had a huge amount of sun. He had a very big family, so he taught his his son how to write down, and he by even being being blind, he was still able to produce a lot before his death. But he started actually in the faculty of physiology, and the, if, uh, recently was let's say this year two months two, three months ago I was writing a paper about by about uh, uh, biomathematics. And the, then I started to make, uh, sorry, I was reading a uh, paper about the stochastic models, stochastic transit equation, and started to make a survey of the past of the, of, of the stochastic models, statistics, and so on. And I was surprised that you see in the book how, many, how much time you see that some mathematician trying to apply some kind of techniques to, to the magic science. Uh, the 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 commonest, the commonest example is by by statistics that uh, from me it's also mathematics. So if you keep an uh, open mind, it's very very interesting because Kringo Mendel applied his he, he, he very simple mathematics proportion in order to prove his Mede the Mendelian law. So it's 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 already considered if you take it as open mind, it, it, it is a type of of mathematics. Charles Darwin, by applying this this reasoning behind the his evolution, has so that he, today the the theory of da, of Charles Darwin is, is used to solve very complicated problems by 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 means of of evolution. 
So it showed that the, the, uh, this guy were not worried about mathematics at the time. But Darwin left very clear that biology should be very clear rule with the laws, which is exact what the, what the, we 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 look for in biomathematics. So, so biomathematics can be found under several umbrella. That is one of the one of the problem of biomathematics because it's so many names. It, it happened recently. You can see I, I post one video. You can find one of the video in the channel, in which he, the guy did a question with the difference between biology, bio, bio, bio science, and the um, uh, another I that I forgot right now. But he, he asked the, the, the between three errors that he sound to be the same. I was sorry, it was he asked the difference between biology, bioscience, and life science. Indeed, I I, I bioscience wasn't familiar, so that's make research. So, indeed, you can find the name mathematical bioscience, which is for me, it is mathematical biology. For me, this big amount of, of name is just a human vanity or, may, or maybe a human, a human incapacity to talk to each other and the, get each other, understand each other out and the, the create one single error. So, I, with this kind of project, I have the ambition, it's an ambition of mine, to gather all those efforts, to make, to call attention for people to start to think as one, not as several different branches of, of biomathematics. So we have several of them, such as uh, system biology, synthetic biology, bioinformatics, all of them, they are different areas of the biomathematics. Some of them, such as mathematical, mathematical physiology and mathematical biology, they are extremely close. If you see the problem that is study mathematical physiology, they want to study mathematical biology, they are all the same. So you can say that mathematical physiology is a special case of mathematical biology. So this, however, this kind of sentence I'm saying here, that just interpretation of mind from the literature, they're not accepted. As a as a as a finer grain of the of the of the research of science. So both methods older than the the mechanics itself. Biomechanics older than the maybe even by engineer. However, the, this sense here is not mine. It was taken from a paper that I I read like two years ago, and the uh, it is I believe it's true. Because I think this kind of thing in bio it's a very complicated because I believe most of the taking bio is just an, uh, an attempt that the people has to defer what they are doing for the other or for what the others are doing. So as a, as so it's a, it's, a, it's a big problem such as the concept of of the theoretical biology and mathematical biology. Some people claim they are different, but I believe theoretical biology, mathematical biology, they are the same. But maybe the name theoretical biology is better than mathematical biology because what what biomathematics want to do is more than just to be a, a set of techniques to solve mathematical problems. Problem. It's an area that wants to propose new ways of thinking to make biology more precise, if rules, if precision. So. Uh, the least theoretical biology we, we certainly we, we, we are going to make to, to, to remember every day that what we are doing now just because you don't have don't, you don't have other way to do it so mathematics is just a way by which not the way that has to so uh, the name is a kind of funny to you the least theoretical biology I try to make research and most of the, the book that has the name uh, theoretical biology they appear in the 80s before uh, recently, people are using mathematical biology or biomathematics instead. There's a kind of two term that I use a lot called dry and wet biology. I heard that for the first time when I was trying to apply for a PhD in German. And the, when I said the guy that I, 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 I worked with, he, with system biology, he just answered me that he, he, uh, he, that my biology was, was dry biology and his biology that he wanted was wet biology. So for the first time I saw that they will make this kind of differentiation. So, uh, so let's say that uh, the ultimate dimension of math could be 
would be a unification of its unification. So uh, 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 we really need to make this ultimate advanced movement, not to make a unification, not to unify all the areas. It was a kind of fun that recently I was talking to a student from, from uh, Malaysia. She was studying, the, uh, I think it was uh, New Zealand, no, Scotland. She studied in Scotland. She told me there is already a graduation course called the Mathematical Biology. I don't know if it, uh, the name is that, but it's a kind of uh, interesting because I was not aware that you, you already have a, a graduation course. You know, the last I believe I should take a look to see if it is exactly what I, I, I think that's supposed to be done. So what would make it achieve it ad adulthood is by having a course of graduation and so on. This considerable number of the this considerable number of the of the, of the ramification make bound of metal very unstable, like such as artificial intelligence. I was into uh, three years ago was in a congress and the, it was not new, it has been already this question and this, this reason has already been under discussion for a long time. So the question that the artificial intelligence has not delivered what it had promised. Uh, when it was created more or less in the in the in the, in the 1950s, so at that that, that uh, so they try to understand why artificial intelligence failed. So uh, I believe that you, yeah, we as a biomathematician should learn this lesson that to avoid that biomathematics would be just a place of promises, but rather a place of results. So that's that you have to be very we must be very careful. So uh, if you make a, a, a research in the, in the internet, such as Google, talking Google, Banff Maths, or Biomathematica, which is in Portuguese, and it needs, uh, you, you find some problematic, such as you need a simple name to identify all the areas. You need a, a precise definition of what the Banff Maths is. As I said before, if you type in YouTube, if you type in YouTube Banff Maths, you're going to find a huge amount of, of videos. And some of them, they just show techniques that can be used by Banff Maths. You have to call it Banff Maths. So Banff Maths is not, it's not a technique. It's a Banff Maths. It is the, the, the idea, the, the way of, of, of seeing the problem. So one fact in general takes a uh, grain that the laws of physics can be applied to biology and it's a very, 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 very big problem because we don't know yet if it's true. We are trying to do it, but maybe it's not. So uh, rarely you can find in, in, in biology the law such as the fixed law. The fixed law is always applied in physiology. However, the fixed law is not a law of biology. It, it, it's a law of physics in which the, the concentration go, go from the point of high to the point of, of low concentration. And the, but uh, uh, when you say laws in biology, you should design the law that just that, that can be applied just to biology. I mean, they're not saying that you should create new laws, but the laws that such as um, you find that he, in a, every human, a certain number of hormones should appear in, in, a, in a number of concentration. It can be done just if you make precise the understanding of the hormonal control of the body. So that's what I mean by law. By law, it's not the extension of physics such as the fixed law. I think the fixed law is a nice law of physics, but it's not necessarily what is supposed to be done. It's just a law of physics that you can, be, can derive the fixed law even from a, from a, from a, from two glass with, the, with salt. You put a, a very thin, very thin membrane between them and you see the concentration going from, the one, from the one side to the other. It's just the osmosis that's happened. So, uh, uh, furthermore, different from concept from theory of, of relativity, quantum mechanics, but that was not created by a single man or by a small group. It has been uh, something worked out for, uh, for a long time. The demand for biomathematics has been each time more and more uh, interesting for them to cons modeling. Uh, I participated uh, last year in summer school about the uh, about the biomathematics. It's a kind of to see the kind of model is great now right now. It's very complicated and uh, maybe let's hope that it bring bring new promises to us. So um, I'm going to close here and uh, let's say that the video that the first the first version of this video uh, so there is no this channel is experimental, so it means that he, uh, all the feeds can be removed, can be edited. It depends on my on my little bit of time. I'd like to let you if uh, motivating, motivating, uh, motivating question. Let's say motivating sentence about mathematics. 
The amazing thing about mathematics is that it's, it's a genuine way to understand reality. It has been done for centuries by physics. So you can see that he, uh, I heard that sense a lot of time. Uh, a lot of time, maybe you, you saw it in, uh, as well that he, biology is the new physics. So it means that he, biology is here to take the place of physics as the most important uh, era. For the one has a pleasure to make the possible what has been a doctor and be a mathematician. It just cannot happen. So a doctor in general is very bad in mathematics and the mathematician is very bad in physiology and so on. So maybe in the future, what I, I, I am very ambitious, in my brain I see in the future a mathematician working with a doctor, I mean in a, in a real time. It's not just to go to, to the lab and to make bio mathematics. It, that would be amazing, such as recently I was watching a, a, a uh, a series that I haven't, seen, I haven't ever seen before, but I'm such like it. It's called the Grey, uh, uh, Grey's Anatomy. It's a, it's a television, a television series. And the in one of the one of the episodes, the doctors were making a, a test, a test to make the to, to transplant of the of arms. The guy lost both of the arms, so. Somebody, some, some, somebody else make the donation and they, they make, they, 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 they put the new arm in the, in the person. Imagine if you could understand it mathematically, if you could make use of system to be precisely, and you could avoid the. Because once you make a mistake, you make a mistake on the, on the, on this kind of surgery, it's lost. The arm is lost. The, the maybe the patient can, can be damaged. So. But maybe I think the big problem is this kind of stuff that once you understand mathematically what you are doing, you can simulate. You do, you do not have to let the brain do all the hard work.